There are a few things in life that can be more jarring than hearing the words, you have cancer. It's the start of a long journey filled with treatment, pain, and uncertainty. A journey that's difficult for anyone to begin. It's even tougher when viewed through the eyes of an eight-year-old. That's the story of Evelyn Donaldson, who first learned about her diagnosis back in April of 2021. 16 News Now reporter Jack Springgate joins us now to tell us how she didn't have to go through this battle alone. That's absolutely right. She had her parents and her sisters supporting her the whole time and we're happy to say that Evelyn is now cancer free. However, as you can imagine, 2021 wasn't the best time for visiting people in the hospital with COVID restrictions still firmly in place. Still, that didn't stop Evelyn's sisters, Anna and Raina, from being there emotionally. Thanks to the Little Red Door Cancer Agency and the Sing Me A Story Foundation, the Donaldson sisters turned their sentiments into sentences and their bond into a book. While none of the characters in the book resemble Evelyn, Anna, or Raina physically, it is pretty clear where the inspiration for Ellie the Myrmicorn, Jack the Shark, and Opal the Octopus come from. That led an IUSB senior composition student to turn this story into a soundtrack that ended up being performed by the Penn High School Symphonic Orchestra last month. Now that you know the backstory, it's time to get comfy, maybe grab a box of tissues, and watch how the adventures of Ellie, Jack, and Opal came to life right in front of the three young sisters who inspired them. It kind of relates to how I was feeling in real life. Being away from each other brought us closer together in a way. It's what eventually brought them here to Penn High School, where they got a front row seat to a story they know quite well, the adventures of Ellie, Jack, and Opal. Even though it's a four and a half minute piece of music, it means so much more than just that. It's taking a story, elevating it to a new level and giving it a new voice and impacting more lives. Once upon a time, under the sea there lived three friends. An octopus named Opal, a shark named Jack, and a mermaid named Ellie. These three friends have magical powers. Opal is a size shifter with the power to shrink and grow. Jack has the powers of speed. initial separation for them was really hard and so they would find little ways to connect. I think you can. these three characters which are really themselves. The one character represents each of them. Jack jumped out of the bush and yelled, you can't catch me. The eels began to chase Jack. Opal shrank to the size of Jack's fin and slipped into the cave. Opal grabbed the shell, slipped back out of the cave's opening and hid in the seaweed bushes to wait for Jack. Jack had outrun the eels, used his power of invisibility, Back to when I rang the bell, 
She just got to be a kid. Um, she wasn't a kid with cancer. She was just a kid again. And Little Red Doors, uh, one of their sayings is that they want to make the most of life and the least of cancer, and they have definitely helped us do that. When we give them the chance to give, uh, we see a real sense of dignity and pride when they hear this um, awesome song. Jack and Opal gave the magical And these are some of the images from after the performance that really tied a bow on things. Three gifts from the Penn High School Orchestra that made this story even more real for the girls. Anna got her very own Opal, the octopus. Raina got Jack the shark. And Evelyn, well, she got her very own magical healing shell for the two-hour drive back to Indy with Ellie the Myrmicorn waiting for her when she got home. I guess that goes to show you can find anything on the internet these days. And this story starts with these three girls, but it doesn't come together like this without the great work from the composer, Clara Hooten, the amazing performance by the Symphonic Orchestra at Penn High School, directed by Ann Cheddar, the folks who presented this amazing opportunity at Sing Me A Story, and of course, the doctors and nurses that saved Evelyn's life so she could write this book with her sisters. Our appreciation goes out to all of them as we wait for the logical next step, a sequel, maybe. Back to you. Oh, wonderful, and Evelyn is cancer-free. Yes, best news of all. There's plenty more